Hi, this is the Life of a Fisherman Wife with my guy Eddie, uh, Fisherman Ed. So we are getting ready to cook uh, the fish that we caught in South Carolina. And uh, Fishing Eddie is going to tell you what these are. This one here is a croaker. You see he's just white and gray on the top. These here are called spots. They are almost the same color, but you can see little lines going down through them. These are called spots. You can barely see it now that they, they are scaled, but when they were, uh, before I cleaned them, you could see the difference really good. You see that one don't have the, the lines in it like this one do. Those lines are kind of greenish before you, can, before you scale them. Uh, you can barely see them, but those are two different types of fish. So we're gonna try those. And this one here, this is a trout fillet. This is a trout fillet. I took the skin off of, off of this one. I uh, left the skin on those because the guy in South Carolina said that he just eat them with the skin on. But when I found out about that, I had already filleted all of them, all of them like this. So we're gonna try them with the skin on and with the skin off. So okay, we're gonna fry them in our famous uh, seasoning. Uh, we'll show you our seasoning that we fry them in. It's just plain Andy seasoning. Uh, we don't like the Cajun because you can buy them Cajun. We're going we're going to try them in uh, just our regular seasoning. Uh, we are going to uh, pan fry them. Uh, we will try some probably uh, baked in the oven. Uh, we probably try some in the air fryer, but not today. We're going to try them just uh, pan fried. Uh, we'll show you what we come up with in a minute. As Fish and Eddie said, these are the trout right here. We got two trout. We got one croaker with the uh, skin on. No, we, spot. Oh, yeah. A croaker with the skin on. One spot with the skin on. One um, spot with the skin off. One spot with the croaker, well, croaker with the skin off. That's kind of hard. It's, so we're going to do these um, six pieces of fish first to taste it for you all. And then we have the uh, Andes, what I was telling you about, the Andes uh, red seasoning. Uh, that's all we put on ours. We don't put anything else on there. We don't put any more salt or pepper or garlic. You know, sometimes we may put a little garlic, but this time, this is all we're going to put on there because we actually want to taste the flavor of this fish since we has never tasted the flavor of the fish. We're just going to add this breading. That's it. That's all. Uh, and I'm going to put it into my Ziploc bag, shake it up uh, with the uh, breading right here, and we're just going to see how it's going to taste. We'll show you in a minute. So this is how... I'm gonna do it, I'm just shaking it up in this bag right here to get it coated really good because you want that love on every piece of the fish. Just to, just shake it up. And. Can I butt in? Sure. I didn't want you to put all six of them in at the same time because now how you gonna tell them apart? I want you to do bread three and then bread the other three. <laughs> it off and start it over. And then that's when she knew she messed up. <laughs> okay, now we got it. The croaker is at the top. This is a trout. This is a trout. And this is the spot. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, I messed up. Mr. Man over there told me I messed up. They know to keep them separate. So, we got them separate. He had to wash them off. But he did. <laughs> so now we'll let you know what they taste like okay what we learned is that if you put your fish on a on a fishing rack and you put it on top of something and put a pan underneath there so the uh, grease can drip off in the on the paper towel underneath that your fish stay crispy and not soggy because it's not sitting in that grease all the time. So that is why we did it like this. If you can see it, the fish is on a, um, a cookie rack and uh, the fish is on top of that. So we're gonna put it here. You got your plate? Yep. So this is the poker with the fish, with the skin on. 
That's the clunker, honey. You want to take okay. a piece of this yeah. So this is the one with the skin on. You want this one? Yeah. Yeah, give me a piece of All right, that's so, it. Skin on, crop. Yeah. All right. What does it taste like to you? Yeah. The meat is uh, soft. It's not really hard. It's flaky. Um, mm -hmm. Our seasoning is great on it. Um, so now we're going to taste the one with um, without the skin. This stuff's not have the skin on it. So it may be a little bit different because, you know, the skin that's on it protects it a little bit from cooking as hard. So, and I like my fish cooked hard. I like it crispy. I like when you when you bite into it, it go crunch. This one is this. That's the poker. Skin off folks. Mm-hmm. I would absolutely do it again. Um, it still got a little bit of a fish taste though, like like a strong taste to it. You think it has a fishy taste? I don't. Mm -hmm. A little it's bit. It's kind of like a white egg. Yeah. But it's good, you know. This is the spot. The spot with the skin on. Yeah. How do you like it? I like it. What you think? And guys, I, I like fish. I don't like all fish. If it has a real strong fishy taste to it, that I'm not a fan of it. This? Has less of a fishy taste than it has less of, mm -hmm. Almost kind of mild flavor, like a bluegill or a crossy. More like a crossy to me. Well, who got? Nope. Nope. <laughs> he loves the crossy. With what? the skin off, it even tastes milder, even milder to me. Mm -hmm. Put some hot sauce on that pot. Oh, yeah, put the hot sauce on that. And, you know, my Frank's hot sauce. I like that. That's why you do all my fish. All right, now this right here is the trout, honey. Uh -huh. I can tell you this. Even with skin on or skin off, it still pulls apart really easy. It's still really good. And you really don't notice it that much. It's kind of like crappie. When you eat crappie, you can either skin on or skin off. I prefer, prefer mine filet skin off, but you can eat the skin on it. And it, I thought it would be tough being from the ocean, but it's not. It's not. It's a very flaky, uh, tender fish. This is the trout. The trout is a little bit more fishier. You think? I think the trout tastes a little bit more fishy than, than the other two. Not the croak. Taste the croak again. All right, let me taste it. Not to me. That trout almost tastes like a whiting. And a whiting has a very, very... Uh, strong fishy taste to me. Uh, my grandmother used to eat it when we were younger, and yes, it had a very strong, strong fishy taste. Um, something my grandma used to always say. She said, "You eat a lot of fish, your body parts smell like fish. The personal body smart part tastes like fish. I mean, smell like fish. Smell like fish. What? Tea on mouth. Tea on mouth. What's the deal?" This is real mild. I like this. This is the, the croaker. I think. The croaker is the curled up one. That's the spot. Uh, this is the one with spot. This is the spot. Mm -hmm. this well, right I like here. them. This is the one the spot tastes a little bit more fishy than all three of them. Okay. And yeah, it does have a little bone, see? It had a little bone in it. That's because that's part of the rib. I didn't get all of the rib taste out of it. That's why I can But it's, it's not, a, like, like they said, um, they're not really bony fish. Um, so they didn't have a lot of bones in it. So this is our meal for tonight. You know, we've been lazy all day today because we've been on the road. So we just got corn, we got our fish, we got our salad. And uh, I promise you all, I love my hot sauce on my fish. So I'm gonna taste a piece with the hot sauce on it.
And that's how they do it. How you do a big head balance? I don't know, but that 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 uh, hot sauce brings out the flavor to me and fish. So yeah, get a chance to salt water fish. Make sure you do that. Get your little hot sauce. Whew. Tastes real good. We, we get ready to turn this camera off right now so we can eat the rest of our fish mm -hmm. so we can get real country with it. So, you know, you know when you're country, you be eating the fish, you be spitting the bones out on this side, and you be eating the fish all at the same time. You never stop and you keep on going. But we're going to ask you right now to hit that notification bell so when we come knocking, you can let us in. Make sure you share, you like, and you do give us a few comments. Let us know how we're doing. So this is the life of a fisherman wife with the man that she does it with, Fishing Eddie. Peace. Peace.